Hello, 007. This is Brenda, bringing you a little bit of CNN news. You see it. Uh-huh. Let's go ahead and listen to this. The White House admitting that the economic impact of this partial federal government shutdown President Trump said he would be proud to own is worse than initially expected. Charities across the country are now helping federal employees with groceries and food here in D.C. today. Furloughed workers and contractors lined up for a free meal from humanitarian and chef Jose Andreas as the Department of Agriculture revealed it may not have funding for food stamps if the shutdown continues past February. The Trump administration, meanwhile, in an attempt to blunt the impact of this all on the public, is starting to call employees back into work without pay, making it impossible for workers who have taken up second jobs to pay the bills. Again, this is economic pain inflicted on American citizens by the American government. As CNN's Tom Foreman reports, as bad as things look now, they're about to get a whole lot worse. The money is missing for training some firefighters, for upgrades to hurricane prediction models, for inspecting all foods, and for hundreds of thousands of federal workers such as Lynn Stratton in Utah, who sees an economic cliff coming. I have enough for one more mortgage payment, and i got to go to CarMax tomorrow and sell my car. She's not alone. Analysts say the slow economic erosion of the shutdown could collapse into a fast-moving landslide of problems if the D.C. stalemate continues. We need border security. We have to have it. At national parks, winter preparations for the busy summer season are on hold. No thinning of brush to prevent catastrophic wildfires. No stopping of damage by tourists still using the land. This will have a ripple effect uh, through the operations for at least a year uh, and beyond. Think those security lines look bad at airports now? Fears are mounting that many more essential federal workers could soon start seeking other employment, especially since a Federal Reserve survey found in 2017, 40% of American adults did not have enough to cover even a $400 emergency. We have creditors, we have medical bills, we have mortgages, we have rent, we have things that we need to take care of. Plenty of services have already been entirely or partially shut down. Investigations of fatal transportation accidents, road and bridge projects, mass transit maintenance, pollution inspections, agriculture reports, and the whole Smithsonian, including the National Zoo's Panda Cam. Paying for daycare and all those things, you just don't know what's going to happen. Expected to run out of money soon. Federal court offices, rent assistance for thousands of low-income families, food assistance for 7 million low-income pregnant women, new mothers, and young children. And while the food stamps program is okay now, next month it may not be. So much seems on the brink of rampant collapse, and it's such a distraction for the workers still on the job. The head of the Federal Law Enforcement Officers Association sent a letter to the president and Congress, too, saying... I implore you to find a solution before an unnecessary tragedy occurs. This is not fear-mongering or anything like that. Economic analysts say the point is this will not continue to be a slow burn. Many federal agencies are patching things together with whatever funds they can find. So are contractors who rely on government business. But as they run out of options, the impact will increase rapidly, producing far-reaching effects which may be very hard and very expensive to reverse. Jake. All right, Tom Foreman, thank you so much. Uh, the latest workers forced to work without pay, 46,000 IRS workers. Uh, this move means Americans will get their tax returns on time, but it does seem with the, the Trump administration calling back and this, all of a sudden people are now essential employees uh, and they're, they're no longer furloughed, not working without pay. Now they're working without pay. It does seem like they're trying to, you know, play with the categorization. So as uh, the likes of now, I don't know about you guys, but you still have to look at child care. Yeah. We still have to look at child care. Schooling. Mm-hmm. And not alone to mention, uh, far as government workers, our soldiers, whether they have a family or not. Some things I just don't understand. And if you understand it, please comment below. But I thought I'd bring a little brief news to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is this going to lead? And I knew it wasn't just going to last for a month. This will last at least a year. You 
we as a family, as a whole, will be suffering for the loss that we're taking now. But I wonder, is the president family involved? And he can make such calls simply because his kids and his wife and his loved ones are not in harm, in jeopardy of losing everything. How sad is that? Of us, people who are not furloughed or not federal employees are not hurt by this. Well, I think that that can only go for so long. Um, even just going through the airport, you see the impacts of this. There are TSA workers, even if they're present, and I'm not saying all of them, but even if they're present, they're not completely active. You can see despondence on their faces. Like, this is a very, very tough shut down, especially, again, we're 26 days in for those who are not doing the math. I think the other part of this is people are not calculating how this has um, disastrous impacts on the economic economy overall when you consider the number of people who are contractors for the federal government. There's right. over 10,000 companies, and that's going to be costing.